<laughs> what up, Alter Lump? Wh- what? Wait, what? <laughs> I was one screen away from getting an achievement. Oh. <laughs> I was Wild. one screen away from the end of the chapter. <laughs> Wild. Ah, we're gonna move on. Nukuro Ikusaba, the sixteenth student, lying hidden lying somewhere, hidden in, this somewhere school. in this school. The one they call the, they ultimate, call the despair. ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Gotta fucking yeah. Kiko told me to watch out for her. Nukuro Ikusaba. That was. I the... like that name because you're gonna hear it a lot. That was three days before the next incident. Three days. It's before almost like we every incident takes murder. place three days. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. I'm surprised you guys haven't noticed a pattern. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. That is an ugly mask. Yeah, it's a luchador mask. Hundred mile dash, pain of a junk food junkie. Uh That's Owie. That's yeah, Hina. that's that's definitely Asahina. Um, in the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall. So let's begin the post-trial investigation. Yeah. You didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Sorry, I was just thinking about the meme where the horse is like stoned as fuck. Um. <laughs> geez, how high is that horse of yours? Well, he just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyway. Regardless, if you want to defeat the Mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the Mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's zutter. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Woo! Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. Hmm. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? <sighs> Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? <sighs> hey, brother. <laughs> I believe this is the small talk Byakuya warned us against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouth. Start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakuyan, we all start our exploration. I just want to imagine Toko, like, opened her legs. Like, I mean, you said move your legs. Here you go. Free <laughs> access. Okay. Uh, my frame rate dripped, so I'm fixing this. Hey, Google Chrome, you're gonna die. Damn, okay, we can't just murder people like this. What's wrong? <laughs> yeah, people don't die in Danganronpa. There we go. That should keep my frame rate good. My frame rate's gay. You're gay. Uh, you're right. Okay. So we have to search around the school for anything new. Which means... Uh-huh. Oh yeah, and by the way. 69. Nah. Meaning, um... I'm not sure I knew that you could do that. Me neither. Cool sound, though. <laughs> to be fair, I hardly ever teleported anywhere in any game, so I just walked everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like the control I think the third this. game I started teleporting, just to teleport directly to people because I'm lazy. Yeah, I, so I'm i using the controller, and uh, I this is my issue where it just kind of grabs onto anything I'm looking at, and it doesn't let me turn for a second. So if I kind of hit the edge of a hitbox, it's just like, ah, and I'm like, stop that. Stop that. Damn, so I didn't know we going, going up to, to the next floor. Hmm? What? What? So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope Speak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us, and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up until now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. 
Also, uh, it should be noted, I forgot to mention this as well, uh, between this episode and the last episode, I got every single Mono Mono Machine gift that you can get. I have every single one of them. There are some ones that I don't have, which... I don't know what number 92 is. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, um, but the other ones are apparently from just the game. So that's neat. 5A. I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about this at all. I'm really not happy. I'm not ever wanting to see this. I've been a good boy. I don't fucking deserve this. I've never done anything that fucking made me deserve seeing this fucking sight. No. Yeah, 92 was an item we get at the end of the game. So. This is where a window would be in a normal classroom. Some huge metal plate. Yep. I got a coin. Three coins. I'm, I'm just gonna stop searching the things like that, because I don't really need coins at this point. Nope. After, after trials, I get coins, and I've never gotten all the things, so I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> Catch me if you can! Wait up, I'm gonna get you! Rose. Hey. It's your wife. At least one of them. One of them, yes. Huh? Does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost just sort of more I might get it. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. She just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad, I guess she gave up. You know, I could give her permission to talk. Because he didn't you're say not I the had Akia. He didn't say it had to be him that gave permission. She only listens to him. Well, as we see in that one tri in the last trial, as soon well, yeah, as he but, asked the question, it was answered. Well, yeah, but he said without permission. So technically, he gave permission because he said all she needed was permission, not specifically his. She I would only say that. Listens to him. I, I think she would listen to that, just based on her twisted logic. I don't think so. Right. Also, damn, soccer didn't even get here. Rip. Rip, bitch. Okay, moving on to this. Um, it's a straw post used for sword practice. Do they use it for training here, too? I like investigating new things, obviously. Oh, huh? this is gonna be useful later. Number six. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of super old school public bathhouses. Ugh, poor soccer, I miss her. A suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. Nippon. Extremely. Not I mean, just a little bit. It's samurai, so yeah. I know. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's in full bloom. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. <sighs> it's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation isn't kind of out of place. Is this any different? Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here and it's in full hey. bloom. Indeed. Wow. I would be a really good archer if I could zoom in my eyes this much. The target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. Oh. Yeah. I think they make a joke at some point that they were gonna make a mini game with that, but that they got lazy and just didn't. Okay. What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Mikuro Ikusaba, the 16th student. Lying hidden Lying somewhere in this somewhere school, in the this one they call the top. ultimate despair. Okay, I've already heard this five or six times in the past. And you're like, gonna hear it more. Watch out for her. That's yeah. why we love this line. Um, Kyoko. I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I 
can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze started up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then, we're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything any better than I did before. Well, I mean, we did learn something. That this needs to be hidden from the mastermind. Not that, you know, it probably really matters because, I mean, we thought we were hiding, you know, Moldry Ego from the Mastermind, but that... I'd just like to remind you of what Sakura said in her suicide note. That she'd be fighting against her and them to the very end and that also there was something that they did to us and that it was blank and also... This door is open, and I swear to God, if it's Hero in here, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. If it's Biakko, <clears> I'm gonna <throat> slap the shit out of him. Oh man, Gabe, I'm just... Calm down. Calm down, Gabe. Don't get angry. Did your parents raise you in a fucking barn? Close the door. I mean, well, it's plant enclosure. It really matters. Beat the shit out of you, Cass. It's just ambiently open. Don't believe that. Uh, no matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following her every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have, anyway? Just to be sure, I should take a look in that tool shed. This place seems totally disorganized, from a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. Only against the back wall, is that a pickaxe? Yo, what if we killed, like, Owie or Toko with the hoe? Because then we could kill a hoe with a hoe. You don't deserve a response to that. Huh? There's something carved in the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond? Crazy diamond. Feel like I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. That's gonna be important later. Bags of fertilizer piled up, there's some different kinds. Eat them. No, what? What? There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are you they trying to get us to become self sufficient? There is a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's actually gonna take care of the lawn? Definitely not me. I hate that, like, oh hey, it needs to be pristine and crap. Like, no, do lots of wildflowers grow. I love them. They're beautiful. They're soft. I can lay on them. So many flower pots, big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. You're not the ultimate botanist. We don't have one of those. I mean, we used I can to. Be what, I can be whatever I want to be. What is this? This thing's super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out! What? That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is like, and I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> It's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak added improvements after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore. They die during the tragedy. Actually. By the way, just by how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Where? Such an eco-friendly creature uh, creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> Not that I know anything about myself. <laughs> Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. Let me guess, that's how Monokuma hides stuff from us. He just chucks it in the flower. I don't know. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? <laughs> it's for the sprinklers! Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden! The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, okay, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. 
So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? Yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you got here too early, you could be drenched and so watch yourself. But you're not only a kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. You're never Wait. too old. Do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell everyone! <laughs> Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? I don't know. There are chickens. This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that? No, they're just Seems chickens. safe. You can click on chicken. every single chicken game. It doesn't have like a second form, right? Oh. It's a chicken. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. It's chicken. It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure. It's a chicken. It's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? It's a chicken. It's not gonna, like, lay a bomb, is it? Nagy's paranoid at this point. <laughs> oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly? Mm. Five, you know the number that comes after four and before six? At least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the na number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysterious of the mysteries of the cosmos. Right. It's a number of power, a refreshing number of par hand squeezed all natural lemonade. That's a pretty good number, then. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. Okay, I guess we're done here. What? Oh, the, no, the monitor? The, yeah, it's on the... Oh, the... Also the sprinklers. Sprinkler. Those nozzles poking out, are those the sprinklers? This game is defeating me. What, did I miss something in here? Is that where the game sucked me back over? No? I checked it all out? Cool. The game's being an asshole. Oh, I haven't talked to him, that's why. Yo. At first I thought it was blue skies, but it turns out they're just painted the walls and the ceiling. No. But the plants are all real. It's been a while since I've smoked vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why, is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. There's always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of the Earth anymore, the they'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Well? I'm serious. Really stupid. Yeah, I just hadn't talked to him yet. <sighs> hey, Owie. Um... <clears throat> this floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Hey, game. Uh, do me a favor, go in that classroom right there. I bet it's nothing creepy. Go on in. Go on in. Go on in. What, you don't want to go raw? No, go, go, go in the classroom first. The hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room stuck out, struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, what I smelled. It was sour, pungent, possibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's... It must have been at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying... Hmm. It's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I had experienced this smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. 
the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Anku must have... What, my fault again? And stop trying to blame everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yep, let me give you the bitty, eegy, squeegy little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait. I can't wait. So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? You just left it the way you found it? What's the meaning of all this? An eye for an eye. Well. There's blood over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly hmm. sight. It appears the blood stains are dry, and their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume that these stains are considerably old. At least three weeks, probably, considering how many how long we've been here. This is all really blood? Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep up with someone like that. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. Yeah, well, Byakugan. Um, Byakugan. About what Monokuma just told us. The second I've been here, he must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard, or is he just flat out ignoring me? Just to be sure. Well, final room. The raw bio room. Rattle, 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 it's locked. We came all this way to speed tonight here. The sign in the hall says bio lab. A bio lab that we're forbidden from seeing into. It kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out where the others turned up. God, I freaking love yawning. So, we were denied the raw room, we got it. Denied going in raw. Yep. One after another, everyone made their way into the dining hall, and before too long... It would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Yeah, three, three on three volleyball is actually a lot of fun. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. Owie! <laughs> hey. Yeah, it's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone who lost, we have to do our best. Oh god. I love how null to death these kids have become. Yeah. Good. Good. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out who where everyone discovered. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Also, you know, we didn't discover this time that we've discovered the past two times. What's that? Think about it. What have we found the past two investigations, like post trial investigations that we didn't find this time? Bathrooms? No. Okay, um... A picture. Huh. I didn't realize that the one before the last one was the... That's whatever I fucking do. You know what I'm trying to say. I didn't realize the pictures were the last two times. I thought one of them was after the first one or whatever. Nope. Hey, Byakugan, seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, uh, I'd forgotten about that. Jesus, man, I know you were, t like, torturing her, but come on! Hmm. Well, Toko, if you have to, some, if you want to envelop up us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> you honor me, master. 
And don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it? What the heck? Shut up! And don't interrupt when Max hear me talking! Um... Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in a classroom on your fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was good. Hey, what do you have there? A knife! No! I was hoping you do it in her voice. Oh, okay. A knife! No! A knife? <laughs> Whoa, that thing is huge! It's like Rambo size! What? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? Well, yeah, what would I know? Very suspicious. What are you gonna use that knife for? What do you want to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything, I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her! I'm nothing like her! Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? Give it to Nike. He needs it at this point. He's already been attacked multiple times. You know? We can't let Toka keep it, that's for sure. We don't know when she might do What's what she might problem? do. I don't want it anyway. You dangerous. Hmm. So what to do? So then, why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? I was right. I'm always right. Makoto. Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that. Hold on. Don't I get to say? It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? It feels like they're just using me. <laughs> okay, here you go, Makoto. At least Makoto understands that people do use him now. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. <sighs> anyway, that's all I want to say. Hey, Toko. Do I still have bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, Jinx. I'm sorry, Jinx. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. I don't feel comfortable with this. So strange! Really strange! Oh no! <sighs> Whenever I look at Toka these days, it makes me feel sad. Yeah, and that entire thing was one person. Hey, idiot, what do you find? I didn't mean you'd be acting on. You're an idiot, but you're not the idiot. You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found out I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. It's totally a manding plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Did... Do you okay. ever know what's going on? In real life. Like, ever. I think that was a reference, actually. I know. I, think, I just I hate think, him. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, that thing must benefit the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dawn. Hmm. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. 
Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. Oh, damn. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. What? Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? 17. What the heck? Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it don't make you happy, you answer your dumb question. So, um, what was the question again? Uh, don't worry. You just answered it. <sighs> hey, Howie. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to be kind of soccer's job, but... Hmm. Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor, either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Oh, what do you ask? So then, because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. has. Bathrooms? Or would they have? No. Something on all other floors but not on the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? Ah. There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? <gasps> Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But... but that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. That's what she said. Oh my god, Owie. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. We should all no. have sex um, to make babies to repopulate because, you know, we're going to need a new population here in the school. I mean, there are three and three. <sighs> I call dibs on Kyoko and Aoi. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we don't want, we don't want Hero's genes going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Hero, fair. Hero, you have to become a hermit. Sorry. And um, Bianca gets Toko. Yeah, that does make sense. They'll be very happy together. I bet. Okay, so now that I've actually had an intelligent conversation, hey, Hero, let's go to part two. Chicken coop. There was a bunch of, there was a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Mm. Yeah, that's right. Five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Oh, that's super cute. Let's raise them up big and fat, and then we can make fried chicken oh, or barbecue. <gasps> decisions, decisions. Ah. Oh, oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? No, you no, will die, no, Hina. No, you will die. I'm pretty sure they'd kill you. You just made Hagakure sound slightly intelligent, Hina. What have you done? Hm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well. No, strange is a massive understatement. The small fresh, uh, flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. Specifically here, though. What the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. Don't go into 5C then. But. I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So, in other words. I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop! Seriously! I'm gonna throw up! It can't be. Perhaps that was what they meant by. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking Which, the same honestly, thing. Which honestly, real quick, Gabe, I'm just gonna tell you, the tragedy's kinda overrated. Uh is it as overrated as the bite of eighty seven? You're thinking the same thing then, my theory uh, is the bite's the mess. Cooler. 
The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago. In other words... Precisely! The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true, that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still, how is it not one of us has even heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Or, you know, we were knocked out for over a year? You know, we lost our memory? We all did go to school? That's my theory. Alright, hey, idiot. You Time to finish your conversation. You know? You notice the two, huh? That pickaxe. Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. In the words, Crazy Diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Where have you seen that phrase before, Gabe? The only diamond I can think of is like a baseball diamond, so Leon Kiwana? I really don't know. No. Crazy diamond. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think, I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Huh? Where? Oh, that's it, I remember. Ah, uh, the back of his jacket. Right. It was actually the name of his, um... Yeah, game, but... I think. Yeah. They mention it when you talk to him after the second trial. Like, yeah, but once died. again, we haven't done... That was, uh, what, four months ago? Nah. There's someone his uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would that be on a pickaxe in the garden? Could it be... Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Monokuma confiscated it? Why Whatever the fuck the would reason. a kid just bring a pickaxe to school? This is Mondo. He does what he wants. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know, maybe I can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. And we can use those to call for help. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? You know? Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solid. Solid. Oh my god, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Alright. Even when you thought he was a murderer? <laughs> she knew he wasn't a murderer. I mean, she didn't. She definitely thought he was. What? No. Yes? She knew that Sakura had killed herself. I'm not talking about that one, Gabe. I'm talking about the third one. She was convinced oh. that Hagakure was the one oh. that killed Sakura. Yeah, okay, that, that's her, yeah. I thought you were talking about Sakura, so I was like, uh, no. what? Um, who else was it that had a pink text? Yeah. I don't think anybody Correct. did. It was just him so other... far. <laughs> I don't think someone did. I don't think so. I'm checking. Hmm. Hey, Kyoko. Hey. My concern is with the bio lab, but that was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Hmm. The bio lab? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? There's like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or. But... We're not in a horror game, though. <laughs> 
Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right, too. Hmm. Weren't we talking to Kyoko? Yes. Well, that's all okay. the information we have. Byakus kind of designated himself as, like, leader. Right now. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So, what do we do? Hmm. Well, uh, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um... So, what is it that you wanna figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Yeah. Well... Kyoko's identity? But... Kyoko is Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope Speaks Academy. Hina's the ultimate swing pro, Hiro's the ultimate clairvoyant, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> yeah, sure. More unlucky than lucky these days, but, you know. <laughs> so what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um... Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like, this is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicions, so Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Hmm? What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? So... Because I don't remember. That was great. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? <laughs> the Dark Descent. What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking, but if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is very suspicious. You can't be curious right now, can you? <sighs> I know you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However, but it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand and buy and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? Hm. Nothing so barbaric as that. I'm gonna leak your nudes. Starts hacking. <laughs> I'll oh, simply limit your options. I can't allow you to gauge in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you your her room key. She can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. None at all. She'll be sleeping with Nagy from now on. Hmm. I mean, yeah, Nagi could just let her sleep in his room. Yeah. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on a threat like that. That's fine. Fine. I understand. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. Hands over key. Without saying a word, Kiko walked right into the house of Dibiaki and handed out a room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... However... The worst school ever, where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with the worst, with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. 
Those are I just words. hate Biakia for thinking that he's such a, like, fucking pompous jerk that he can take someone's, like, key from them because they won't tell him something. Like, fuck well, off. Just stab him right now. Can I just sh shiv him that, in the neck? That's fair, but to be fair, that was a bluff. He really didn't think she would do it. I don't think that anyone knows I know, how but many, I just... I No, I don't think him. anyone knows how big of balls Kyoko has. She's the ballsiest motherfucker. She's like, what are you going to do, kill yourself? And she points the gun at her head. And she's like, wait, no, stop. <laughs> you can't kill me if I'm already dead. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? It's her deal. I, I think you went too far taking her room key like that. For her that way, you okay, far Tucka. enough. Tucka, stop. Or maybe he get off on you. Thank you. Can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. Can we get Jack back already? You're getting noisy again, Toko. Come on. Sorry, but I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. You're telling her to die. I mean, I know how you feel, but... Well, come on. But what Kyoko's gonna do now? Plus the situation, it feels like... Just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I... I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. Yeah! Uh, um... The hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, I mean... Cause... Cause look! It's a bear! Do you? How long have you been standing there? Being very, very. Oh, I'm really angry. Angry? Uh, angry at what? Stop taking at my the... fucking lines, you twink. At the thief. Yeah, that's right. I'm very sad to tell you there's a thief in your mists. Huh? Hey. My precious, they stole it. Your my precious. My precious. Had such faith in you, and this is how you repay me with betrayal. You know, he's full of so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um, but what the heck is your precious? Shut up. I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. What the heck? He's gone. What the heck was that all about? So, um... He said something about his precious getting stolen? Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? I touch the ring in my pocket. No, no idea at no all. No idea. Gotta no go out idea. Of school so I can get to Mordor. Like <laughs> <laughs> has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why did she do that? Okay, once again, 13 hours to investigate for the school and talk about it, and then yell at someone until they leave. Yes. Um, uh-oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow, and about Kyoko. However, after what just happened with Makuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take can extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms, don't go wandering around. Tonight. Oh, don't worry, we still have two more days until anything bad will happen. Not like you, we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you die in the middle of the night very cru- like, cru cruelly and harshly, and I hope that you suffer. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, oh, that's right. I need to put this away the knife that I got from Toko. I think the safest place for me- the, the- Fuck, I can't talk. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really gonna be okay? She can't get in her room. What's she gonna do? Isn't there something I can do? 
something I can dun 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 Hmm? As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more importantly, did I hear the doorbell? Can you feel Kyoko Kirahiri tonight? Hey. Kyoko? I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared in the depths of the darkened hallway. I know you're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. Once again, that rule is gone at this point. Yeah. It died with Celeste. The walker. Alter Ego isn't here anymore. You fucking did. I'm up. Hey. <sighs> Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever it was you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. Cool. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. And unless you go to a convention, and I'm pretty sure they're sold there at this point. Hmm. Where did you get this? So... From the Headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the Headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? The lock was broken. Correct. What? It was Sakura. She did it for Yep. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. Mm-hmm. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right, so that we could uncover whatever secrets may lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school, school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this Indeed. place. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why. You had me go over and do that thing. I used you as a decoy? So you asked me to meet me at the data center in order to... Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. And this proved that Monokuma cannot be everywhere at once. So if we distract Monokuma, then it's all good. Oh. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then what you told me about that what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Okuro Ikusaba, the 16th student <sighs> Langan Summon School, the one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her! <laughs> That's time number seven, I think. Did you find out who this Mikuro Ikusaba is while you were in there? I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mikuro Ikusaba is a dangerous. She's armed and dangerous. Dangerous? In other words. She may very well be the mastermind. She uses this really huge knife and... <laughs> mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster is probably the mastermind? No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mikuri Kasaba really could do, be the mastermind? Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've had waiting to get our hands on. Hmm. 
Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why... I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go out and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous! You want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us. But they didn't catch on last night, right? Every time someone says, oh hey, I'll be fine, I just want to do something dangerous, they end up dead. Nah, Kyoko's fine. Kyoko's Kyoko. Maybe we just got lucky. Or maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. If that's true, then the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokumi at the same time. Then there would have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think about what might happen if we fail... Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the Mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? In a moment of crisis, will the Mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words... In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But... If you spend all your if you time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, and the enemy standing before us, and with that in view, she just smiled. I can't change how I feel, and wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's it's this? True. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. If something happens? I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it, just because you asked me to. But I'm going to give it back at some point, you can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Yeah. Hey. Right. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the Mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well, it's nothing. Forget I said anything. I can't just forget that so easily. Then. Uh, okay then. Shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Bye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. Now oh, everything's gonna be fine, I know it, because it's Kyoko.
talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here. I've got a bone to pick with you. And a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, this is a surprise, you being the one to call me out. Hey! Hey, by the way. Huh? What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm, I bet you guys. We moved to conform with the local international censorship laws. Hmm. All over her, didn't you? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever, unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. <laughs> because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X-rated exploits. So, is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens get all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? <laughs> Sounds like that's the bullseye to me! Anyway, you went all the travel to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? Well, but in the bear kingdom there is no male or female. That's wrong. Um, actually, there is. <laughs> Seriously? Then, what am I? That's kind of, that's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta, you gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or your sign breeding tips. Your sign? Your I don't know. This is just crazy. All all pre all pre your best and team boys as nutty as you. God, you're just so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and bink. That's it. What was the second thing? The blink stupidest secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me t trudge all the way over here for that? I'd like to see what's going on with that brain of yours. The next time you summon me for something that's so stupid, open up your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Oh, I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko, after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? We did not keep him busy very long at all. I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Monokuma Theater. Monokuma Theater, brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited. Uh. Oh. Okay, I, yeah, I don't have time to read all that loud, but it's on screen, so. That was bizarre. This super style, super fashionable game was canceled during development? It's on screen down there. It's Monokuma with somebody right in front in a skirt. Um, interesting. But it'll start back up again if Dungaropa sells well. Oh, I know who that is. Oh, that's UDG. Yeah, uh, I've seen that... Okay, um, real talk. I've seen, like, four screenshots of Ultra, Ultra Despair Girls. One of which I was told was the female main character. Is that her? I think so. Okay. That's bizarre <laughs> that that would be in the first Danganronpa. Concerning that was the third game released? Uh, yeah. But I think they'd been planning it for... Well, see, I think it's because of the, um... 
translation because I know they added stuff later. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. Don't ask me. I know there's a reference to it in Danganronpa 2 also, so. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. <sighs> My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. And guys, that's what we call it this episode. Next time, unless we don't gun rumpa. We're probably getting some free time. If not, then story's gonna be kicking our ass. That's how it is. God, all this yawning, even during the outro sequence. What's your thoughts, Cassie? We are sleepy bitches. Yeah, always. We should probably stop doing this at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. or whenever it's 6 a.m. That's when we got up, or at least I got up. Someone was late. <laughs>